as all the models were not discussed in the previous two slides, so the remaining models have been discussed here. Must expresses necessity. For example, John, you must come with me. Children, please keep it in your mind that must expresses the desire of the speaker. Need means to have the need of something or necessity. For example, need they come with us? Dare. Dare means to have the boldness or the courage to do something. For example, how dare you come here? Would is used to talk about the past, to talk about the future in the past and to express desire, polite requests and questions, opinion or hope, wish and regret. For example, even as a boy, he knew that he would succeed in his life. Here in this sentence, would is expressing the desire or the hope of the speaker. Would you open the door please? Here would is used to make a polite request. Would you like some coffee? Here would is used to ask a question. If I were in your place, I would refuse. Here would is used to express the opinion. Should is used to express suggestion or advice. We should start packing our luggage. This is an example of the usage of should. Ought to is a semi-modal verb because it is in some ways like a modal verb and in some ways like a main verb. For example, unlike modal verbs, it is followed by the preposition to. But like modal verbs, it does not change its form for the person or the tense. For example, I ought to call my parents. Children, please note that ought to also conveys a sense of duty. But it is stronger than should. Should is simply used to express a suggestion or advice. But ought to is stronger than should. Shall is used to express future tense or to make an offer or for suggestions. With the first person pronouns that is I and we, we use shall. For example, I shall be in London on Monday. Shall I order a taxi? The next is used to. Used to is used to talk about past habits. For example, I used to have long hair or he used to smoke. Let's recapitulate what we have learnt. Number one, verbs are action verbs. Verbs are of two types, that is main verbs and auxiliary verbs. Main verbs are used to express the action that someone or something does. Main verbs can be used independently, but auxiliary verbs need a main verb to complete their meaning. Auxiliary verbs are of two types, primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. There are three primary auxiliaries, that is be, have and do. And the verbs like can, could, may, might, will, shall, would, should, etc. are used as modal auxiliaries. Primary auxiliaries can be used both as main verb and helping verb. But modal auxiliaries are always used with the main verb, that is the first form of the verb and they express various moods like ability, possibility, necessity, wish, obligation, ability, etc. There are total 14 primary and 13 modal auxiliaries.